Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Sarojini Smart Learning. So for the last few episodes, you are learning different topics from the primary level to middle school level. So today also we are going to uh, take up a new topic and definitely you will enjoy it. So today we are going to discuss about measurements of capacity. In the previous episodes, we have discussed about measurements of distance, measurements of weights. Today in this topic, we are going to discuss about measurements of capacity. Capacity generally, we measure in liquid form. Like it may be water, it may be milk or it may be oils. So whatever the liquid content is there, there we use this capacity. So I will write down today's topic as measurement of capacity. Okay. So in capacity, in measurement of capacity, we have only two words. One is milliliters. One is milliliters and the other is liters. So, in this, we have milliliters and liters. There are two terms. That means when we are going to uh, measure for any smaller quantities, we use the word milliliters. And when we use for a larger quantities, we use liters. Okay. And milli, milliliters can be written as ml and liters can be written as n. Okay. So these are the basic thing you are going to learn. So here the standard form, the standard form of capacity, the standard form of capacity is liter. Okay. So these are the things you are going to uh, uh, learn today in measurement of capacities. So generally when we go to uh, a super bazaar or market or the milkman when he come to, uh, come to our house in the morning so our mother or the parents will take milk uh, and they will measure in 1 litre of milk, 2 litres of milk, 3 litres of milk or uh, if you go to shop and buy uh, soft drinks uh, whatever the soft drinks may be and there we use 1 litre bottle, 2 litres bottle and uh, for water bottles, yeah, water bottle also, we count as 1 litre bottle, 2 litres bottle. So all the liquid content we are going to measure in litres. Now coming to uh, milliliters, like if you take oils, okay, so it may be 5 litres oil, uh, 2 litres oil, 1 litre oil and 500 ml, ml, ml means milliliters, 500 ml of oil. So like uh, costly oils, we generally buy in milliliters only. So the, among these milliliters and liters, so the standard form of capacity is standard form or standard measurement we can call. Standard measurement. Standard measurement of capacity is nothing but liter. So today we are going to do some examples on this uh, milliliter and meter. And also uh, conversions. Like how you are going to convert milliliters to liters or how you are going to convert liters to milliliters also. Okay. So here, suppose if you want to convert liters to milliliters. Suppose you want to convert liters to milliliters, we have to multiply by thousand. And if you want to convert milliliters, if you want to convert milliliters to meter, it's a liters, we have to divide by thousand. Basic thing you are going to remember. Okay. So in this one, first of all, First of all, you must know it, 1000 milliliters make 1 liter, that's it, okay, or 
1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. If it is 5 liters, then it is 5000 milliliters. If it is 12 liters, nothing but 12,000 milliliters. I hope you understood the concept. Okay. Now, in this again, we will have addition of uh, um, milliliters and liters, subtraction is there, multiplication is there, division is there, word problem. So, in the, in the coming episodes, we, we are going to discuss each and every one with stepwise math. Okay. So, here we will check some examples. Suppose there are 16 liters. 245 milliliter is given. So in this, you can split 16 liters plus 245 milliliters. And already we have discussed that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. So 16 liters means 16,000 milliliter plus 245 milliliter which makes 16,245 milliliter. So I wrote directly because I know this is 16,000 plus 245 makes 16,245. So in this way, we can convert the liter and milliliter into only milliliters. Okay. So here, suppose if I take one more example, 12 liters, 5 milliliters is given. Suppose. So, 12 liters will be plus 5 milliliter. So, this is 12,000 milliliters. This is 5 milliliters. On adding, it is 12,000 milliliter plus only 5 milliliter. That means it is 12,005 milliliter. In this way, we can cut. Uh, write down or if you take uh, like this uh, 37 liter 15 milliliter suppose if I do so 37 liter plus 15 milliliters or 30, so 37,000 ml plus 15 ml on addition 37,000 plus 15 ml that is 37,015 ml is the right answer. So, converting liters into milliliters. Suppose, instead of this one, if I give 14,645 ml and you want to convert into liter. So, now you check this, what is given 14,645 ml. So, here wherever the thousands place come, you split it. This is 14,000. This is 14,000 plus 645 ml. Okay. So 14,000 is nothing but 14 liters plus 645 ml. Or in other words, if you want to convert into liters, so we can write 14.645 liter also we can call, we can say. Okay. So, you have to check whether it is three places or not. Before three places only, we have to put a decimal because, because this is thousands place. Okay. And we already know that 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter. Okay. One more I give. Suppose 39,074 liter. Sorry, milliliter is there. So, how we are going to convert into liter is the question. So, the question is given 30974 ml. So, whenever ml comes, leave these three places. That is 39.074 liter directly. You can write down. And what is the alternate method for this one? Is the alternate method is just 39074 is divided by 1000 division concept as I told. So that means 39.074 liter also and converting milliliters to meter that is division by divided by 1000 and for multiplication that is liters to 
milliliters we have to multiply it so i hope you understood these topics and you are watching each and every bit each and every example and hope you will do more and more examples to make yourself so comfortable and better than this, uh, uh, these exercises huh? and thank you for all for watching have a nice day thank you very much